Okay, so next thing we're going to do is take a look at the middleware on this particular route that pulls this in. And we're going to want to put some middleware uh, in, we could do it in the user logs controller. I am going to use it here in the user logs controller. Um, but we're actually going to name a piece of middleware. So we'll say this middleware. And the middleware's name is going to be is admin. I don't think I've created it yet. Let's take a look there quickly. We are getting a little deeper into this course. So, uh, you know, it's entirely possible. Nope, we haven't. Okay, that's good. So is admin, and it's just going to test, is this person an administrator? And if they are, then it's, uh, it's going to let them uh, do that. So here it needs to be on index. Um, let's see here. You know what we might, in this case, we might not actually want to because uh, we, we need to do like is admin or actually we'll do it this way. We'll say is user. And if it does match, if they match the user here or they're an admin, then we'll grant them access to it. Okay. So let's, uh, let's see here. Okay. So let's go down to this. We'll say command. We'll say, uh, PHP artisan make middleware and this is going to be is admin actually I'm going to capitalize that okay let's pull up our is admin middleware now and we have that here so actually sorry <laughs> well we do need one for is admin anyways but I'll, I'll leave it like that for now we actually need to go is is user so let's create another one uh, called is user Okay, and we'll open that one up. Okay, and basically, uh, if uh, auth, well, we could say auth ID, if auth ID is uh, not equal to request request route user and auth user is admin and they're not equal to that then we'll return uh, there was a response of um, not authorized, uh, and that's going to be a 403 that we send across that way. Otherwise, we're going to let them continue on. So they have to be, so if they're not the user and they're not the administrator, then it's going to send them this response of 403. Um, another way to write that would be like if they're the uh if they are the user or if they are the administrator, then let them continue. But of course, we basically uh, try to handle the unexpected result before we move to the expected, if that makes sense. Okay, now we have to register this. So we'll register this in the kernel and the kernel is right here. And this is where all of our middleware is registered under route middleware. So again, app HTTP kernel. And in here, it's gonna be is user. Is user or is is admin, right? Um, app tp middleware is user. I will return the string of the location of that particular class. Perfect. Okay, so that's in place now. Now we can go check this. Uh, we'll say user logs controller is user only on uh, the index there so is user or it's going to test to see if they're an admin as well let's uh let's test this route uh, and here make sure that we can still retrieve our items error code 500 okay let's find out and go to network we can go down here to view it exception error not found auth okay so the issue we run into here if you say message class not found auth is not in the middleware it's it's an illuminate class so let's go back to our is user class okay 
and we need to bring auth in. So let's import that. Perfect. Okay, let's see what happens now. Go ahead, and we're able to bring that in now. Perfect. Let's add our paginator now to uh, the user logs. And I'm going to put, so we'll say paginator. And the paginator, first of all, the results cannot equal null in order for this to show up. And we need to vbind results in there. Okay, that's good. And then we're going to say paginator details as well. Okay, and again, VF, they have to have results. So, to null, and then we'll, we'll bind those in there. Perfect. And we'll add the paginator to the bottom here as well. Below the table. Now we have to actually bring these in. So let's do that. Let's import them. Import paginator Oops. from, uh, where would the paginator be? It would be in utilities. Pagination, paginator, dot view. Let's put details in here. Paginator details, and then let's register our components in view. So paginator. Paginator details. Okay, let's see if that gives us our desired result here. Perfect, showing one to one of one. Okay, so that's fantastic. Let's get the idea of that last user that was created, and in the next video, what we'll do is we'll actually create the user factory.